government does not have money is a myth. The last two years were man-made disasters. We are blaming the government for the management of the pandemic. 23.9% fall in output means that millions of people have been pushed below the poverty line. Every country has faced this situation in pandemic. What is so unique and why are you blaming the, blaming the government of India for the mismanagement? No one is blaming the government for the pandemic. We are blaming the government for the management of the pandemic. In India, a 23.9% fall in output means being pushed below the poverty line. If Trump is an example of gross mismanagement of the pandemic, what is Mr. Modi's claim? That I'm only next to Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump is the worst and the second worst. Government doesn't have money and you have advised to borrow or monetize. Government does not have money is a myth. How did government give a huge bonanza to the corporate sector by cutting the corporate tax rate? Corporate tax rates in India can be lowered, but this is not the time to lower it. So government had money, it gave away, I think something like $1.7 billion, isn't it? Or something like that, to corporates as a corporate tax cut. What about the massive increase in petrol and diesel prices that they affected over the last uh, 12, 15 months? Every calculation shows that they must have made a huge amount of money by way of increase in cop, uh, taxes on petrol and diesel and surcharges. Now, where is that money? So why don't you use all that money? Can we can we go for a big GST cut of 8 percentage point uh, for next six months? Can we go for 100 to 200 BPS cut in repo rate and push for loans to buy houses and cars? Consumption accounts for 60 percent of India's economy in normal times. Now, if consumption falls drastically, uh, rate cuts won't help. 24% fall in output means a corresponding fall in jobs, which produce that output. A fall of, say, 15-20% in incomes means that so many families have become suddenly poor. Therefore, you have to put money in the hands of the people so that they can start buying, start consuming. How can uh, uh, one make uh, this government understand that printing uh, cash at this point in time is a doable thing and they should not have any apprehension in doing so. In normal times, monetizing is not a good idea. And we are not suggesting monetize straight away. You monetize only that part of the deficit, that part of the borrowing, which you feel has reached a limit, which makes you uncomfortable, which threatens the financial stability of the system. No one else has the power, only the sovereign has. So that power must be exercised sometime or other. They have been talking about uh, disinvestment, they have a target, but still we don't see Air India or Concor or BPCL going for a strategic sale. See, for every sale, you must have a buyer. No? Why would anybody buy an airline today? Unless you give it to him for one rupee. Air India should have been sold two years ago or three years ago. Some industries are in very deep distress. You cannot sell your PSU in that industry. What about GST issue? This is one of those regular issues or this becomes a big turning point in the way economic governance uh, happens in this country. The bond of trust between the center and the states has been broken by the unilateral action of the center. The finance minister Ms. Sita Raman told the GST Council and earlier the Finance Secretary told the Standing Committee on Finance, we have no money to pay and we don't have to pay. Our Attorney General has told us that there is no obligation to pay. Hey, what, what rubbish is that? You have a legal obligation under Section 18. You have a moral obligation by the word given by the Finance Minister recorded in the minutes 
that any shortfall will be compensated. How should one spend? Uh, government has huge food stock. There should be a massive push to that. Uh, uh, it should go for massive public works and it should go for rural infrastructure building. And for that, they require money. Why are they not getting it? Because they don't have imagination. We said, give every family 25 kilograms of wheat or rice every month for the next few months. Now they gave five kilograms per person. Now they are left with huge stocks of food grain. Only 33% of the migrants got that food grain. See, once you begin a targeted distribution, there will always be loopholes. If you make relief universal, everybody who's eligible is more likely to get it than making relief targeted. Minus 10% will be the GDP number for this year. Uh, that means uh, the so-called recovery that we will see in quarter two, quarter three uh, will not be a recovery. It will be a very big deep hole. If the first quarter is down 23.9 and the second quarter, let's assume, let's pray, is down only by 20%. Does that mean a recovery? It doesn't mean a recovery. It means that you're sliding further down. A recovery is when you make up the 23.9 and register positive growth. Read the RBI's report. It's not going to happen today, tomorrow, next quarter. In fact, I cannot see it happening in 2020, 21 at all. The last two years were man-made disasters. 2020, 21 is natural disaster compounded by a man-made disaster.